गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स नाउ इन सब्जेक्ट फ्लूड मिकेनिक्स एंड हाइड्रोलिक्स अवर नेक्स्ट मॉड्यूल विच जस्ट कम्प्लीट इट अवर मॉड्यूल विच इज फ्लो थ्रू दी पाइप नाउ नेक्स्ट मॉड्यूल ऑफ दिस सब्जेक्ट इन दिस सब्जेक्ट इज ओपन चैनल फ्लो ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट डू यू मीन बाय ओपन चैनल फ्लो एज यू कैन सी इन दिस डायग्राम देर इज अ स्ट्रीम विच इज फ्लोइंग एंड दिस स्ट्रीम इज ओपन टू एटमोसफियर as you can see that this stream is open to the atmosphere so this flow in this stream is called open channel flow more precisely now open channel flow means flow through the channel which is open to atmosphere as you can clearly differentiate between flow through the pipes and open channel flow as we all know that pipes are closed conduit pipes are closed so the fluid which is flowing in a pipe is it is not open to atmosphere but in open channel flow the fluid have a free surface which is open to atmosphere and the pressure acting on that fluid is atmospheric pressure okay it is different from the flow of a pipe which don't have any free surfaces now common examples for open channel flow include rivers canals flow over weirs spillway etc as you can see in this diagram behind me that this is your stream which is flowing and in this stream this stream is open to atmosphere there is no any closed surface here so this flow is called open channel flow and again for that diagram also there is a canal or any channel constructed there and the flow in this uh, in that channel which is open to atmosphere so this are some basic examples for the open channel flow clearly open channel flow means the flow which is open to atmosphere this flow is open to atmosphere so this is called open channel flow okay now uh now we will discuss some types of channels okay basically there are mainly two types of channel prismatic channels and non prismatic channels first we will discuss prismatic channels so a prismatic channel is the channel where there is a, a form of prism as you can see in this diagram that there are proper lined the flow is flowing in a proper lined in a shape of prism so this channel is called prismatic channel all artificial channel or main made channels are prismatic channels where slope is properly defined the bottom slope remain constant along the length of the channel the bottom slope is constant along the length of the channel so this is called prismatic channel okay now second part is non prismatic channel if the cross section and bottom slope of channel changes along the length of the channel if this cross section changes along the length of the channel then it is called non prismatic channel all the natural channels or rivers are called non prismatic channel where slope is not properly identified there are uneven slopes here so this is called non prismatic channel so clearly all the main made channels or artificial channels are prism, uh, prismatic channel and all the natural channels or channels of river it is non prismatic channels okay so basically there are two types of channels prismatic channel and non prismatic channel now on the basis of nature of the boundary open channel is also classified as mobile boundary channel as you can see here that mobile boundary channel in this diagram the difference between two channels are clearly shown that mobile boundary channel and rigid boundary channel in a mobile boundary channel the channel consists erodible bed and sides which is mobile boundary channel in diagram number 1 all the sides of this channel are erodible there are no any proper slope or no any proper construction now this 
shape of channel undergoes any deformation due to continuous erosion there are chances of deformation here due to continuous erosion or flood or flood of or any flowing water due to any reasons okay uh, unlined canals natural streams are the examples of mobile boundary channel on the other side in this diagram as you can see that these sides are properly constructed there is no any erosion occurs here due to any reason wind water anything then this channel is called rigid boundary channel if material on the bed and sides of the channel are not movable as this material is fixed okay this can't move there are proper constructed wall here so it is called rigid boundary channel lined canals sewer lines are the examples of rigid boundary channel so on the basis of nature of the boundary channels are mainly divided into two types mobile boundary channel and rigid boundary channel okay now our next theory is types of flow in open channel so first type of flow in open channel is steady and unsteady flow okay first of all steady flow the flow is said to be steady if the flow characteristics like depth discharge or velocity at any section do not change with respect to time then that flow is called steady flow velocity discharge and depth so del v by del t equals to 0 or del q by del t equals to 0 or you say del y by del t equals to 0 if depth discharge and velocity at any section is not changes that flow is called steady flow and in a unsteady flow if velocity discharge and distance changes then it is called unsteady flow so del v by del t del q by del t or del y by del t not equals to 0 not changes with respect to time changes with respect to time this flow is called uh, unsteady flow okay now our second type is uniform and non uniform flow first of all uniform flow the flow where depth velocity remain constant along the length of the channel overall length of the channel if you are taking this much length then depth velocity of flow is constant that flow is called uniform flow so distance that is del y by del s equals to 0 or del v by del s equals to 0 that is your uniform flow on the other hand in a non uniform flow the uh, velocity or uh, depth is varies along the section of the channel along the length of the channel so del y by del l or del v by del l is not equals to 0 this flow is called non uniform flow okay now third type of flow is laminar and turbulent flow we already studied this term laminar flow and turbulent flow in theory reynolds number okay but remember that here is a difference we studied that reynolds number and in this reynolds number is for open channel clearly remember that the flow in a open channel is said to be laminar if reynolds number is less than 500 in last lecture when the flow is through the pipe the flow is flowing in a pipe and for that reynolds number must be less than 2000 for laminar flow but in a open channel reynolds number must be less than 500 then the flow is your laminar flow remember this we know the equation for reynolds number rho v r upon mu where v is a mean velocity and r is a hydraulic radius or hydraulic mean depth rho and mu are the density and viscosity of the water so 
if Reynolds number is more than 2000, more than 2000, then the flow is said to be turbulent in open channel. If Reynolds number is less than 2000, then the flow is turbulent flow for the open channel flow. And if the Reynolds number is between 500 to 2000, then the flow is considered to be a transition state, transitional flow. So, Reynolds number less than 500 laminar flow, 500 to 2000 transitional flow and greater than 2000 that is turbulent flow for open channel. Okay. Now, our next type of flow is subcritical, critical and supercritical flow. First of all, the flow in open channel is to be subcritical if fraud number is less than 1. We will discuss this fraud number detail in this chapter. Uh, here you have to remember the equation for fraud number which is Fe equals to V upon under root G D. Fe equals to V upon root G D. This is equation for fraud number and here V that is your mean velocity, D that is hydraulic depth and G that is acceleration due to gravity. If you are finding fraud number and fraud number is less than 1, then the flow is super critical, subcritical flow. For super uh, for subcritical flow, which is also called streaming flow, okay. And the flow is called critical if Fe equals to 1. And if fraud number is greater than 1, then the flow is called super critical flow. So, there are three types subcritical, critical and supercritical. For subcritical flow, the fraud number must be less than 1. For critical flow, uh, fraud number must be equals to 1. And for supercritical flow, fraud number must be greater than 1. Supercritical flow is also called shooting flow. And subcritical flow is also called streaming flow. We will use these terms streaming flow and shooting flow in our remaining chapters. Okay. So, streaming flow is your subcritical flow and shooting flow is your supercritical flow. Clear? So, done for today. Uh, in this lecture, we discussed what is open channel flow. Okay. As uh, also you can see that this is your open channel flow which is open to atmosphere. And we also studied types of channels and types of flow in open channel. Now, in next session, we will discuss some more theories in this chapter, open channel flow. Okay. Thank you.